Assalamu alaikum children and welcome to another episode of Qasasul Atfal. My name is Samira and I'll be keeping you company for the next hour. Now this is our special time where we get to learn the fun way. We read stories and we watch cartoons and we learn about everything around us. Come a little closer, hold my hand. Let's go to that secret place where there's no adults allowed. Let's learn about Islam and Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let's dream about Jannah and find ways to make Allah happy. Today, children, we're going to start off with a cartoon. Keep watching. Children, let's go watch Rupert Bear. I wonder what he and his friends will be up to today. Welcome back, children. Look who's in studio with us. Assalamu alaikum, Zinira. Wa alaikum assalam. And how are you today? Alhamdulillah. That's good. Mashallah. And tell me, Zinira, did you have fun with us last time? Yes. Do you remember, children? Zinira showed us how to make those yummy fruit skewers. Today she has a story for us. But Zinira, before you read that story, shall we read some emails? Yes. Okay. This email says, Assalamu alaikum, Samira. My name is Fatima and we love to watch your program. Assalamu alaikum, Fatima. Would it be possible for my daughter to study hymns to recite on your program? She's 15 years old and she knows seven paras off by heart. Alhamdulillah and mashallah. Make dua for her as well as all the other students. Wow, mashallah, you're studying the hips? That's amazing. Inshallah, you will do well and finish up and practice on what you know too. And may Allah make it easy for everybody studying as well. Let's read another email. This one says, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Amira. Assalamu alaikum, Amira. I made 24 cupcakes and it tasted mashallah. Wow, you made our cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed them. And don't forget to make dua for us whenever you eat them. Let's read one more email. Assalamu alaikum. We really love your show. Do enjoy your holidays. I will inshallah and I hope you enjoy it too. Remember children, if you'd like to send us an email to read out, send one now on samira at itvnetworks.tv. Zinira, would you like to read us a story? Che. Go ahead. A day's work. And this year again, the student who got first position in the school is Sayed Amar Ali. Hearing this from the teacher's mouth, I was overjoyed. All my friends were congratulating me and slowly moving towards the stage to receive my prize. But all of a sudden, I heard my mother calling. Get up, Amar! You have to leave for school! And with this, a hard slap came my way. I quickly got up from the bed and was thinking of confronting my mother. And then my mother threw a sarcastic remark at me. You sleep late in the night. That's why you do not wake up on time in the morning. I opened my eyes, rubbing my cheek. Took a view of my surrounding. It occurred to me it was all a dream. I remembered that I forgot to set an alarm clock. But what could be done now? The school fan had left and now I have to take a bus. Travelling halfway on foot. Thank goodness I had 
have 45 minutes remaining. I jumped to my feet and rushed into the bathroom. It took me 15 minutes there. After changing into my uniform, I was putting on my shoes. I realized they were not polished. It came to me that my mother always asked me to arrange things beforehand in order to avoid last-minute hassle. But I never pay attention to it. MashaAllah! So far, children, can you see? Poor little angel's day is going mixed up. Everything's going wrong because he didn't pay attention when mummy said do things on time and a day ahead. Do you follow that, Zinira? Yeah. That's good, mashallah. Now children, let's go on with our story. Then I combed my hair, which seemed to decide to annoy me. As I tried to set my shabby hair, Papa kept on making fun of my laziness. I was getting so late, so I came out of the house without eating breakfast. At the bus stop, when I tried getting into the bus, someone pushed me so hard that I fell off the bus. I got up quickly and removing the dirt from my uniform. And then I did not want people's glances, so I got back onto the bus and paid the bus fare. When it was time to get off, I moved towards the door and tried to get down. But the passengers who were coming in kept on pushing me back. Oh no! I hope you didn't get hurt and I didn't hope you didn't fall. Children, what is going to happen next? Let's quickly read on and find out. It was a difficult task which I tried to achieve and achieved it some way. There were only five minutes left for the school to begin. I started running full speed to the school. As I looked down, it appealed to me to see my right thumb peeping out of my shoe, as if it was also laughing at my miserable state. Then I realized I'd forgotten to mend it a day before. When I got to the school, the feast the first period was full swing, and chemistry teacher was marking off copies. When my turn came, I remembered I forgot to because I was too busy talking to my friend. And that's why I could not arrange my notebooks according to the timetable. Another slap and with it my teacher's fingers left an imprint on my face. I had been twice punished for my callousness since the morning and I was really angry at my poor memory. Finally, the bell rang and it was time to go home. I returned by the van quite peacefully. Then the van left me at the street corner. I started walking on the roadside and the road was full of muddy because of the certain rain in the city. I was walking callousness, reflecting on everything that happened today. Unfortunately, I slipped on a banana skin thrown by some fool covering myself in mud from head to toe. When I knocked at the gate at my mother's house and remark added to an insult, she said, Go away, beggar. The food is not ready yet. Please come back later. I pleaded that it was me, her dear son. She started laughing at me and I straight away went to the bathroom. Afterwards, I ate a hot meal and was about to go to bed when father told me that I should give him his clothes to iron. I took them from Papa, but I was too tired to iron them. I thought of getting a little sleep and then doing them afterwards. Having set aside myself, by this thought I'd lie down and sleep. When I woke up, I was fresh and resolved from now onwards. I would do all my things properly and time and won't delay anything. As I was having these kinds of thoughts, I heard Papa calling. Umar, have you ironed my clothes? Bring them quickly, I'm getting late. Hearing this, I placed my hand on my face because the time, the noise of being slapped would echo in the whole neighborhood. 
since there was no electricity. Maybe you also heard the voice, friends. You must have seen by not doing things proper on time, one gets into difficulty and trouble. And it also hurts your parents, friends and teachers. In order to avoid any loss, one must not postpone one's work. MashaAllah, what a beautiful story. And that's right, if you want to do good in life and do good at school and madrasa, you must always remember never to leave today's work for tomorrow. See, Neera, did you learn a lesson from the story? Gee. Never to leave my work for next day. MashaAllah. But oh, we've come to the end of another show. Don't worry, we'll be back again soon. Don't forget to email me on samira at itvnetworks.tv. Until next time, fi amanillah, assalamu alaikum and bye.